a good start to another day on the water. That's nice, Cap. Yep, it's good too. Get her done. This day was starting out to be very rainy and we had some more storms on its way. So we had plenty of time this morning to play with the dogs and to have a nice breakfast. It was a nice lazy morning. And to take care of little things like grooming. However, outside, Mike had realized there was a problem with one of the motors cranking up. Get that again. No shit. Why is it doing it? Only one. How many fuses have you got? Quite a few. Alright. We'll get more. Oof. We're going to be getting rained on for a while. I mean, we might get a little break. Mm. Mm -hmm. Could be this is too uh, weak, too. It's a five amp. Put a screwdriver in there. Well, I imagine there's <laughs> a lot of ways around it, but. Turns out it was just a loose wire on an ignition coil. Both motors were running and we were good to go whenever we got the opportunity. Ooh, it's going to be a wet one today, maybe. We eventually saw a weather window and decided to make our way across what would be the last big challenge of the journey to our destination. Look at that face. <laughs> are, you two, are you enjoying yourself? I don't know if you can hear me with the wind going on, but. We're uh, passing Boca Grande right there. It's a very large pass. A lot of water over there. The tide's coming in, the wind's going out. It's making for a roly poly situation. But right over there is Cayo Costa. And there's a nice sheltered anchorage called Pelican Bay. And that's where we're going. Can you endure? Can you make it, pup? Huh? Can you do it? Hmm? I don't think I'd want to be out here in a kayak. talked about that adventure with that girl kayaking to Cayo Costa a few times before and I'll save the details for another time. It's just weird how some of the best memories you'll have in life involve those times when you go out on a limb. Good thing we waited for the uh, rain to subside before we made this passage. That would have been a little more exciting. We just gotta get there. Yeah, it's already laying down. The first time I came to Cayo Costa, of course, was by kayak, and I had seen boats sitting out here in Pelican Bay at anchor. And I thought to myself, how cool would that be? My goodness. And here it was. Mike and myself were about to do exactly that. These were sure to be some good times. Cayo Costa. Man, it's been a long time. I got some stories about this place. Now somewhere between us finding a place, picking out a spot to stop and drop anchor, my hat flew off in the heavy wind. We had to do a man overboard routine, circle back, and we were able to find it. And while it dried, I had to don a do-rag 
<laughs> and uh, it was actually pretty appropriate as I played the part of a pirate. Heck yeah, seven feet. Man, it looks like stuff all over the bottom, dude. Grass on the surface is probably growing down below. Wind like this. All right, so I'll turn in. The closer we get that way, the better. That's our protection. Look at your ears and the wind. <laughs> Sweet home. <laughs> Next we're going to get the kayaks ready, put the motor on the Bass Raider, and then we get to uh, explore and play and live a little bit. First things first, I'm going to find my hat. Another thing we did is we plugged in the generator so we could charge our phones and everything else that needed electricity. And of course, I separated this Catch 100 from the Bass Raider. Now we had two kayaks and the Bass Raider to use as a dinghy. There's Mike giving me the seats, helping me put the motor on it, and then we put the dogs on it. that done it was time to bring them ashore and let them have a little potty break. The Bass Raider with a little bit of carpet laid across the bottom makes an amazing dog transportation system. <laughs> Come on, be a boat dog. Good girl. <laughs>